Okay, guys, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to start to go through some of the examples. Um, and we're going to go through the examples and, and start to look at, well, how can we stretch this idea of expected value? So just remembering, just recapping that the expected value it is just the score times its probability plus the next score times its probability, you know, sum all of them together, the scores multiplied by their probability. It feels really comfortable, very similar to finding the mean from a frequency distribution. And it feels the same because this is just a probability distribution, the same ideas. So it's just finding the mean, the score times the probability, add all of the scores times their probability together um, and, and we get our result there, our expected value. So let's let's look at that in an example. So an example question, so sorry, example 13, consider the probability distribution of a discrete random variable given in the table below where the expected value is 2.05. So that, that's interesting for me. I haven't even gone through the question yet and I've noticed that they've given me my expected value, right? Determine the values of A and B, right? Interesting. So let's go back and look there. I'm told this is a probability distribution. Uh, I, it's stated in the question, but I'm asked to find the values of A and B. That's different to previous questions done. Previous questions that we've done is that instead of that being B, that might have been A, or it might have been, you know, A over two, or it could have been two A, and that was okay, cause, you know, these two then, they're the exact same variable, and that was easy to figure out. We just add them all together to give one, and then solve for A at the end of it. But what we have is we have two variables here. So what we've got here is we're, we're snuck in a bit of simultaneous equation here. To, to solve two variables, we need two different equations to solve this. Well, lucky enough, we know two different equations about this. We know that, you know, all together, those things must equal one. When we add all our probabilities together, they have to give us a value of one, and we know that because we are told that it's a probability distribution. Now, where is this second equation I hear you ask? Well, we were told the expected value of our scores and we have an equation that we have to find expected value. So we have two separate equations. So let's set that up. So what we have is, what we know is that 0.3 plus a plus 0 0.1 plus b plus 0 0.15. Well, that's got to equal one. Um, a plus b plus 0 0.55 has to equal one. So therefore a plus b is going to be one minus 0 0.55. So 0 0.45. And call that equation one. So there's our first equation. Our second equation we're going to get from our expected value. So we know that our expected value is 3.05. So using our expected value equation, we know that 0 times 0 0.3 plus um, 1 times a plus 3 times 0 0.1 plus 5 times b plus 6 times 0 0.15. Well, all of that, that needs to equal our expected value, 3.05. If we go through and do those multiplication um, and clean up what we have, we'll have... Um, what would we have there? Three, five, five. We know that uh, we'll have a plus five b plus one point two equals three point zero five. So a plus five b equals 
Um, take away 1.2, so take away 1, take away 0.2, that's 1.85. Um, sorry, that's getting a bit messy and a bit off to the side there, but there's my that's my equation too. So I'll just highlight them so we can see them nice and clearly. So now I have two equations. Looking at my two equations, something nice and easy has appeared here. They both have the exact same a. So because they've both got the exact same a, I'm going to do equation 2 minus equation 1. Well, a, so I'm going to be left with um, a take away a. They're going to get rid of themselves. Sorry, it's 2 take away 1. So positive 5 take away 1. So I'm going to be left with 4b. And 4b is going to equal... Um, 1.85 minus 0 0.45. So 4b is going to equal 1.4. So 4b equals 1.4. Dividing both sides by 4, b is going to equal 0 0.35. So now I've found my value for B. Now I have B. I need to put it back into one of the equations. Well, I'm going to pick equation 1 because when I look at equation 1, it's just got B by itself. So sub into 1. Um, so then equation 1 is going to become A plus 0 0.35. And that's got to equal to 0 0.45. Do my maths, take away 3.5 from both sides. A is going to equal to 0 0.1. So therefore, A equals 0 0.1. B is 0 0.35. And there we have it. So example 13, um, using our, under, our, our understanding of a, a probability distribution that, you know, they must sum together to give one. And the fact that they told us in the question our expected value, that was kind of our clues that we have two equations here uh, or two equations we could use. Um, and, you know, having two different variables we needed to find, that's the kind of marker that we needed to use simultaneous equations here. All right, um, we'll go on to example 14.